Hey, thanks for tuning in. I'm doing a three-part series. My favorite yard sale finds, my favorite thrift finds, and my favorite flea market finds. So this um, begins my yard sale finds. This um, picture, I had a blanket with the exact same pattern, so I was really excited when I found that. It was $5 at a yard sale. It is canvas, gives a nice little pop of color, and I kind of decorated around it. I had it before any of this other teal stuff. Um, a store that we went to was having an out, like a yard sale basically. I, I don't know what you would call that, a sidewalk sale? Yeah, sidewalk sale. I'll include this. It's a candlestick and it was broken, therefore it was $2. And I just put a little greenery on it. Okay. And right beside that, when I talk about my favorite yard sale finds this would definitely be at the top of my list one of my favorite things I've ever found was this dresser it's probably from a little girl's room it was kind of in bad shape I think my husband had to fix a drawer um, there's some like paint on it and it was missing the last three handles which I ordered from eBay too they didn't match very well so I tried to paint them <laughs> it's not the best but when you hear the price it was not too shabby. It was $25. Um, furniture is the, always the first thing it seems like when I go to yard sales. If they advertise furniture, it's usually already sold. So I was surprised that they even still had this there at that yard sale. And I keep my oldest daughter keeps all of her, um, I'll just show you. Sorry, it's probably a little bit of a mess for her sports, like practice shorts. Um, I know she has t-shirts for um, soccer track. This is this has been wonderful because instead of her running upstairs when she's trying to pack a bag for us to get out the door in the morning, she can grab everything from here. She's got her spandex, her shorts, her t-shirts, whichever sport she's practicing for, they're all in there. And I even have her game day, like her soccer uniform in the top drawer. She knows where to go and get it. And when I'm doing laundry, oh. It's just been a, a blessing to have this down here. Okay, I got this old bed. I know I showed the uh, mailbox in the flea market video, but the old bed I got at a yard sale. It was a lady that redoes furniture. She had like a, oh, she was advertised in yard sales. She was moving shops, I think. So she had a bunch of furniture outside with really good prices. I got the footboard and the headboard. This is the headboard. It's like a child's bed, I guess, um, for $35. I actually put the footboard in my yard sale pile it's just as pretty and it's got these the really old nails I love that but I've had this a while and I just haven't I don't have a use for the footboard so probably sell it okay got this good size temporary tree I love temporary trees I have them all over my house got this at a yard sale and it was in really good condition I can't remember the price sorry back up here to my fireplace I got this um, plant sorry I can't remember what lamb's ear lamb's ear plant it's an Ikea one I got it and a white pot from Ikea for one dollar at a yard sale so to get both pieces I know those are inexpensive they're probably $3.98 I think when you go to Ikea maybe even $2.98 I can't remember but for a dollar for that and the pot was a good deal um, I got this um, at a clearance sale and it has something ugly in it but I wanted that birchwood look so I tore out what was in it and just replaced that I'm going to include this this is newer this dresser so I still have the marks from my other dresser which it went all the way to the floor it was really small you can see all the cords I that's it's new and we have to fix that um, but I wanted to include this because I got it at an online yard sale site um, on Facebook the lady had it advertised for 85 and I offered her 75 and it was her dad's. It had just come out of his house. I had to replace one knob. You can probably tell which one I replaced. I need to stain it. But I love I'm going to talk about this pillow because I love this find. The lady said they were Pottery Barn pillows. I tried to find them and I couldn't. It's huge. They're probably the 20, at least the 24 inch by 24 inch. I was really, I'm really into teal in the summer. So it looks like that. And for the winter, I like my whites, my winter whites, my neutrals and creams. So I just flip it around, put my little Target pillow. 
she sold me both of those pillows for five dollars I got um I got a whole set of um Pioneer Woman dishes at that yard sale also they're a mustard color I use them for fall they're so pretty I love them eight dollars for those uh, if they're sitting out I will try to uh video that my plate wall in another video um but i'm going to reshow the plate wall for this video because i got four of these for a dollar at a yard sale they're just a newer cheap they're pretty lightweight but they look good on the wall they match all my creams and i got these a, a box a huge box of plates with a bunch of ironstone for ten dollars on a like an online facebook yard sale site and the two plates on the ends i guess you would say are from that box. This set of Mikasa Countryside Dishes. I love stacks of white dishes. I have them throughout my house. Might be weird. This is actually in the kitchen, so maybe it's appropriate. I don't know. I just love the way white dishes look stacked. I got that set for $10. And I was gonna just movie. throw this in here, I guess, in my kitchen. Um, I got my first bun coffee maker. This is not it, but I'll tell you, try to be really quick. I had never had a bun coffee maker. I heard they were wonderful. And a couple had one that they used, they said like at their vacation house or when they went on vacation, they took it and they had it for $30. And I didn't know how expensive, I didn't know the price. I just thought, oh, I used coffee maker. So I asked if they would take 20 and I really didn't want to pay that. Well, they took the 20, it was in pristine condition. Ended up being one of the best <laughs> decisions. I love coffee, my husband loves coffee and if you don't have a bun i've tried the keurig i've you know tried everything but this there's just no comparison the water stays warm or hot so as soon as you put the water in the fresh water for the day it pushes out the hot water and you have instant pot of the best coffee okay so that was sorry i had one for like two years from the yard sale for twenty dollars i saw one on a facebook yard sale site she bought walmart uh pallets and this one did not have the carafe. I had bought a brand new carafe at a yard sale for a dollar. So she sold me this for $15, I believe it was. The brand new bun. And I had a brand new carafe already. So that was a wonderful yard sale find. Here's more stacked dishes. Um, Gibson. So these might have been for more, I don't know. But um, a lady sold me a big, huge box of these. I think, I, I believe I got rid of some of these too. I don't want clutter. It's hard when you go to yard sales not to have clutter, but um, there's the smaller ones and the, you know, there's three sizes here. And I'll talk about these. Um, these I got at a yard sale this summer. It was, they, what it was, they owned a shop and it went out of business and they had all their little shop things. It was so cute. These are Hallmark and I paid $4 and they were brand new. They had a really cute red ribbon and some greenery on them. I love measuring cups. Actually, I love pottery and I love measuring cups. So I was real happy to get these. And they're my winter white. I can leave these out, you know, the rest of February. This, um, we have nine foot ceilings. It's hard to kind of judge, I think, on these videos, sometimes the size of things. This is in my dining room. Um, we were not out yard selling. We were just were driving through town, saw someone, it was like a weekday. It was really, really random. They had a few things set up for yard sale and this uh, shutter was one of them. And $2, they had $2 on it. I love it. I have it beside my window in here. I've hung some plates. Um, that's one of my countryside plates from a yard sale. That is from a flea market. It is a piece of ironstone. And this fork that I hot glued onto this boxwood wreath is from a flea market. I can, you know, if you go to flea markets, you can get old silverware. I love it. It kind of ties in. I have like a older looking brick. I'll talk about that piece in another video. I do have my Pioneer Woman stuff up. So I will just show you, look how pretty. It's got scallops and beading and crazing. $8 for the entire set. 
the, these bowls or those Gibson that I showed you the plate, that's the matching, some of the little bowls. I love how they look stacked. This is my entryway. Um, got this piece, it was this piece here, this architectural piece. It was a dark blue and it was part of a, like a window box. So um, my husband unattached it for me, took it off the box. I painted it and glazed it and I've moved it all around. It's just an interesting little piece. Well, that's all I have for the yard sale videos, but please tune in. I will be posting other videos, um, my favorite antique finds and my favorite flea market finds. Have a great day.